Hey guys, and welcome back to Scotty's Garage. It has been a moment, I've got to say. Um, mainly because of Drag Challenge. Drag Challenge has taken up way more of my life than I thought it would. I mean, I guess just being in another state, you know, starting and finishing in Adelaide caused, you know, a lot of that. You know, you've got to drive over to Adelaide, get the event ready, drive back from Adelaide. Well, not Adelaide, but tail and bed. Close enough. And, um, yeah, you know, it just it chews up a good couple of weekends, there's no doubt. So it's been a few weeks since we've had an episode up, and like I said, I do apologise for that. Um, obviously, things have been a bit hectic, and I have been doing stuff off camera, mainly because, you know, when I get a few moments, I'll go out in the shed and I'll do some stuff on the plasma table build and um, don't always have time to film it. In fact, I've been doing stuff this weekend, and I haven't been filming it, but I've just realised I've left my tripod <laughs> in the carnage workshop the camera is literally piled on a couple boxes right now um, but yeah i'll show you what i've been doing so you can see where we've been up to we'll call this part five of my four part build yeah it's been a bit like that but i think you'll be happy with the progress i've made not quite working yet but uh we're getting pretty close. All right, let's grab the camera off these boxes and I'll show you where the table's at right now. Check that out. We have a water pan. You haven't seen that yet. Um, so this is from Vivor. So what it is, is a, a, a pan to uh, put under a washing machine in case of like a, a failure inside the washing machine that causes it to dump a heap of water. This will help sort of capture some of that. Of course, it doesn't help if a hose blow blows off a, a tap or something like that. But yeah, but it works well as a water pan for our bed. I am going to have to do... Uh, some trick washers or something like put some uh, um, o-ringed washers under those just so it doesn't leak into the tubing and I've also done my connectors for my motors all right so that's that part I've got to say I'm pretty happy with how the the table is looking right now I mean yeah looks pretty good it looks Almost finished. Then there's over here, I'll swing this around again, and we have, whoops, and we have our control box. Now when we I left you last time, I was working on this control box. You can see I've got our e-stop button. All right, so stop and allow it to run again. We spin it around. You can see our connection points. So uh, all these points are for um, mainly for limiter switches, which I still have to install on the table. And then we've got our Z, X, and Y axis axis controllers. So um, and then I'll show you inside. Things are looking pretty good in there. So I've tried to keep it as neat as possible. It's not, it wouldn't pass muster with my um, my tech teacher way back, but uh, it's not looking too bad. So we've got all our wiring here going through the side of the case. Uh, we've got earth, so the earth uh, cables from the, um, the earth wires, that, like the, the shielded wires, they all come here to this, uh, the earth bar over here. So we've got our wires coming from our motors over here. These going down here to the earth bar for the limited switches. I haven't got the controller unit plugged in yet. I've got to still, um, yeah, program that. But the opto isolator is all wired up. Uh, you can see there's only wire, wires going to this top section because this actually has two opto isolators. I'm only, only using one at the moment. So that's the second one here that's kind of... I didn't really need, but there it is. Then we've got our 24 volt 
Now, five volt power supplies. There's the e-stop button up there. So it's not looking too bad. I've got to say, yeah, I'm not unhappy with how the box has came out. Uh, a lot of work, I've got to say, more than I really thought there was going to be. But when you are wiring something from scratch, yeah, it's there's still a couple wires that are going to be done, mainly for the torch control. Um, but yeah, most of it, let's say. We're at the 95, 96% mark, maybe 98%. There's not much left to do. Basically, you've got to plug in our, well, got to program our, our chip, which is here. The program our little controller chip. Um, plug it in. We've also got to wire in the torch controls. And I think. I mean, I've got some wiring hanging out the side here. That's for the um, the tube notcher, but that's a, a later thing. Um, but, yeah, I think that is really most of it. Torch control really is what's left. So, yeah, box is looking pretty good. Uh, I have not plugged it into power yet. There's my power cord is connected. But um, I haven't plugged it in yet, mainly because I want to do some continuity checks, make sure everything's right before we plug it in. And when I plug it in, it will be plugged in with a surge protector board and all that sort of stuff just in case I screwed something up. But pretty confident I haven't. So that's our box done. Um, I've been over here downloading the Open Builds controller software for our G-code and all that sort of stuff. It's probably not going to mean a lot for to you guys because um, until you're into it you're probably not aware of it but yeah what's left on this is basically limiter switches so for our our travel so our X and Y axis travel I've got to install a couple limiter switches and I will have to wire them as well so that's kind of this afternoon's job before we uh, go and give Alex his, uh, his shower. Fun that is. Anyway, um, but yeah, as you can see, we, we're getting there. We're getting there. So I think pretty hope, well, I'm hoping that this thing is going to be running next weekend. That is what I'm hoping. So yeah. Like I said, things have been happening. Last time you saw me, it was Baffus weekend, which you know obviously was a few weeks away, a few weeks ago. And then obviously, you know, drag challenge, very, yeah, labor intensive. But that went off pretty much without a hitch. And um, yeah, if you haven't seen those videos, I don't appear in them much. I mean, mainly because I'm in the background doing things yeah, uh, which is kind of what I've got to do. Um, but, yeah, I think Drag Challenge went off really well this year. And then Brandon Zito swung in for the win at the end. We had some rain at the end of the event when it limited everyone to one pass on the last day, and that really decided, like, half the classes. If you didn't have your shit sorted, well, bad luck. That's what Drag Challenge is about. You've got to have your stuff sorted. You cannot go into Drag Challenge thinking it's a test and tune. It is not a test and tune. You need to be up and running and ready before you show up. Yeah. So, yeah. That's where we're at for this week. Um, I'd like to be able to tell you more, but, yeah. It really isn't more to tell. I've just been, like I said, Bum down or head down, bum up. So I can't even remember which way it is. And, um, yeah, trying to get into this thing, get it done, because it is starting to drag on a bit, and I hate it when things drag on because, you know, like I said, it was supposed to be a four-week build. We're into week five and going into week six, and, you know, that's not what I want it to be. And then we can get this done, start cutting some stuff out with it, start moving back into the cars and doing car stuff, which a lot of people are like, where is the car stuff? Well, let's get.
get back into the car stuff and do some car stuff because I am I'm very keen for that. So anyway, I'm going to sign off and hope you guys are all having, well, better weather than what we're having. That's another thing that's been limiting me. It's like yesterday. I didn't get out here at all yesterday because it was literally 10 degrees here in the shed. It's freaking end of spring and 10 degrees. What the hell is going on? Um, you know, we're only a couple of weeks out from summer and it should not be that cold at this time of the year. Of course, I'll be whinging about when it's hot too. So that's just the way it is. Anyway, I think I've talked enough. I'll catch up with you next week. Um, make sure, like, subscribe, all those things. Uh, I'm going to have, of the Scotty's Garage T-shirts, I've got some new bigger sizes getting printed right now. So for those that um, weren't of the correct sizes before, yeah, because I only printed mediums to 3XL before, if you're a 4XL to 7XL, I'm going to have big boy sizes available on the, st on the site soon. Not just yet, but soon. And I'll make an announcement when they are done, but uh, it won't be too long. And then we can move on to some other merch. I want to do some Fairmont merch and all that sort of thing. I've already planning that attack for next year. Um, things have been happening <laughs> over there. I think that deserves its own video. But anyway. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that in uh, future episodes of Scotty's Garage. Catch you then.